Hello, Alex. Remember that story about uh, Travis D. McDonald that lived on my street? Well, when the left's technology showed up here and I started torturing me and basically drove me insane like Charles Sideropoulos is on his Facebook page, white genocide, that's what they're trying to do here, is uh, basically anybody that's a patriotic white male, they're destroying them with technology, right? And of course, it was right after the clergy plan video that I was attacked by the left's technology. But I had other technology here that was messing with them, right? Of course, I think what they were trying to do was turn me into a puppet leader and completely control me, which didn't work out because I had the five ball, right? But what the me that was really messing with them, the blackmail I was telling you they thought they had on me. <laughs> Somebody, I mean, I was so out of it, it, it convinced me, and I was like, damn, I'm glad we didn't get caught. <laughs> I'm not kidding you, man. I was convinced that what I'm about to talk about actually happened convince them because this shit can read your mind it's uh enhanced interrogation technology and extreme vetting remember president trump always talked about extreme vetting that is what this technology is alex <laughs> this is what they do to people in order to make sure that you can be part of their satanic cult and they're not looking for stuff they're looking for stuff to hold over your head of course they were being hustled by lockheed martin the whole time alex I mean, they absolutely hustled them. And here's one of the stories that was implanted in my brain that's not true because Travis D. McDonald's still alive. <laughs> I mean, I was having vivid visuals of this and memories of it. I was like, where did this shit? I was like, man, I can't believe we did that. But whenever I was about 14 or 15, the memory that was put into my head was that we murdered... Travis McDonald, the guy that I talked about punching him in the forehead and all the other stories when we were kids, and we took him to uh, this bit, this area where they had just put some concrete down. <laughs> I swear to God, dude, this happened, okay? Uh, I'm not making any of this up. This can be verified from other people's mind hives when all of this comes out. <laughs> stupid political warfare with technology is all it is and the left got hustled and one of the things that they were going to hold over my head to use me as a puppet leader is this story anyways when i was 15 we murdered travis d mcdonald and buried him in concrete that was just laid down and then repaved it over <laughs> to hide his body <laughs> And it was so vivid, my old partner here <laughs> almost convinced me. I'm not kidding. I was like, I can barely remember that, but I'm glad we didn't, glad we didn't get caught. <laughs> That's how they hustled. That's how they used me to infiltrate the left and hustle them and pull all of this off. And when it was all said and done, they didn't have any blackmail on me. <laughs> <laughs> Did y'all have anything to do with that army? <laughs> Were there Fort Meade? I'm just curious. <laughs> All I got to say is it worked to perfection. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm glad I finally got my mind back, mostly, sort of. I'm still under some sort of mind control that's fucking my life up. However, I believe they are sandbagged at this point, okay? I don't think you can sandbag them anymore unless I just go ahead and just go on a translation marathon of Pinky and the Brain and really ram it up their ass here, okay? I'm just saying, uh, I don't know what you want from me. They're, they're toast, okay? I mean, they're toast. <laughs>